So I'm afraid you're still not number one contender material. And you're not going to get a title shot at Backlash. Oh, what a load of... What the hell does the game have against Edge? Oh, my gosh. Edge has lost it. I told you. I think Edge, could beat our interim general Edge manager, is getting screwed over hard in this storyline. going on Godzilla Nation this is our Godzilla we are back with more WWE Smackdown versus Raw 2007 thank you for joining me as always picking up the action where we left off deep in a storyline heavily screwing edge over speaking of is he gonna hit it he's hit the spear Something tells me it's not going to be good enough. Edge has just won one of the most exciting and competitive matches I've ever seen. And you have to believe that Triple H is out here to restore Edge's title opportunity. Great match, Edge. Seriously, I'm sure you really impressed all these people out here tonight. But when you're in a position like mine, part of the job description is to be decisive and make tough decisions. Although I appreciate you busting your ass out here tonight, I also have to live up to my responsibilities as interim GM. And that means I can't just flip-flop on a decision I made a few short weeks ago. So I'm afraid you're still not number one contender material. And you're not gonna get a title shot at Backlash. Oh, what a load of... What the hell does the game have against Edge? Oh my gosh! Edge has lost it! I told you! I think Edge could beat our interim general Edge manager. is getting screwed over hard in this storyline. No and who could blame him? <sighs> Meanwhile, we're taking on Ric Flair in one-on-one -on -one singles action. I know the end game to this storyline, so believe me, if this is new to you, you've never seen SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 before, the storyline will make sense by the end of this episode, I promise you that. You will understand why Triple H is going to the lengths that he is going to. It's just unfortunate that Edge is the poor guy caught up in the middle that seems to uh, be getting the short end of the straw every single time. But let's get ready for our first bout, ladies and gentlemen. Hall of Famer versus Hall of Famer. A big raw welcome to all our fans here in Phoenix, Arizona, and around the world. This is good old JR Tim Ross here with Jerry the King Hall. Phoenix, Arizona. I've got a girlfriend who lives in Phoenix, Arizona. And neither can I. I couldn't have bring more games. Special shout out to her. Appreciate the support of these great Phoenix fans. I still remember. Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair for Ric Flair's career. As a wrestling fan, probably one of the very few moments during my time watching WWE that uh, genuinely brought me to tears. Still remember Shawn Michaels gearing up for the Sweet Shin music, saying that he loves him and then just Dropping him on the floor, one, two, three. Let's see if we, we can replicate that, shall we? I can't believe he counted that one. Pop that. Your boy Godzilla's learning the buttons now. <laughs> Putting him in the crossface. Better not make a Chris Benoit reference. Whoops. Honestly thought we were about to steal it then. He's not going to get caught with that one. Hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far. I know some of you have been. Please continue to hit that like button and leave comments in the section down below. 
means so much to me that you guys are always backing everything I throw on this channel. Would not be doing this without your support at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Should have known that was going to happen. It's Ric Flair. Build up the stamina a little bit. You got to respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster. Uh oh. Oh, come on, ref. Not good enough, okay. Looks like Flair, yep. Scoot slam by Flair. If I go quiet during this commentary, guys, I apologize. I just get really sucked into the gameplay. Some of you are thinking, well, there's not much gameplay, Zero, but it's just... Growing up with games like this, getting back into it again, the nostalgia is so real. I just get caught up in remembering the memories that I've created playing this game in the past. Speaking of games from the past, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below what some of your favourite games were growing up. Doesn't matter the console, can be as old a game as you want it to be. Curious to see what people's all-time favourites are. We should try and make him tap out. We should definitely try to tap him out. Oh, but here we go. Can we set him up for the uh, for the good old? Yes, we can. I hope you're ready for this. Sweet, 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 sweet chin music. These superstars are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight. Let's build up the stamina. I think it's only fitting that we make him tap out, right? Oh, God. How many times has he gone for the eyes, ref? Ring the bell. It's time. He's going to do it again. Son of a bitch! It's a very and I hope you're ready for this, Flair. Let's make him tap out. I think it's our first submission. It'll be our first submission. No, oh, you dirty bastard. Here we go. Let's just go for the cover. I was about to say we're about to pick up our first win by submission, but uh, I'll take a pinfall. Here we go. Triple H is going to reveal the number one contender for the WWE title. Well, he took That's a sweet turn about game. it. Backlash is this Sunday. As you've all witnessed, I've spent the last few weeks conducting an exhaustive search for the number one contender for the WWE title at Backlash. In that time, I've examined the entire Raw roster from top to bottom, backwards and forwards, over and over. Oh, get to the point already, Shh. would you? The general manager's talking. And after much soul searching and reflection, I've found just three letters that could possibly belong on that marquee. H, H, H. You've got to be kidding Does me. it make sense so now? Serious. So for the sake of Raw, I'm gonna pull double duty this Sunday and serve as both general manager and the number one contender for the WWE title. The only reason he became GM in the first place, ladies and gentlemen. The end game was he was always going to select himself as the number one contender. 
And as, as I said, unfortunately, Edge just happened to be that superstar that got caught up in the middle. Don't get me wrong, I think this uh, matchup makes more sense anyway, considering back in this day you still had the uh, automatic rematch clause, which would have seen the superstar that lost the title get their rematch for the next pay per view. Triple H versus Shawn Michaels at Backlash. Two of my favorite superstars of all time going head to head here, ladies and gentlemen. Always have been. Probably. I wouldn't say my top two. If I had a top five, the two of them are definitely well and truly in there. Against unpopular, unpopular opinion. God damn, my English sometimes is terrible. Against unpopular opinion, Chris Benoit is in my top five all-time favorite wrestlers as well. If you did follow the uh, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth series we did, I've spoken at length many times about my feelings about Chris Benoit. Not going to do it again because I don't want to feel like a broken record. But when it comes to in-ring ability, Chris Benoit will always be one of the greatest, if not the greatest, at what he did. Really wish I could change this title back to the standard WWE Championship because um, having the spinning title on anyone but John Cena seems a little bit redundant. Such a good pick for this playthrough. And don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, when I work out which WWE game will be coming to the channel next, I will throw another poll to you guys to vote on the superstar that gets player control in that particular season mode. Edge and Randy Orton are definitely fan favorites with you guys. It's just that Shawn Michaels edged his way in just a little bit further. Let's just put him to the hammer to the sledgehammer maybe because he's Shawn Michaels get it and it's Triple H and Triple H likes sledgehammers do you, do you get it always wondered who really has had the better career out of the two Shawn Michaels has had some really big moments early in his career, but Triple H has had some pretty memorable moments throughout his entire career. So, Shawn Michaels kind of dropped off a little bit. When he had his later run in his career, he was just there and about. Whereas Triple H was always actively doing something. I think that's why I like them both. And especially when they were together. Let's go up top. Can we hit it? Yes, we can. No, no, no. We don't want to pin him. Oh, right to the eyes, of course. Am I going to lose my finisher here? Nope, I saved it just in time. Thank God for that. Come here, Hunter. Oh! I was hoping I'd reverse that. See, the buttons are so finicky. I'm hitting the buttons well and truly in time. Are you ready? It's 
always satisfying landing that kick. One, two. Now, see, I argued the ref actually slapped his hand on the mat for three, then he just didn't count it. If you go back and play that pinning sequence over, you will hear three distinct slaps. You know what? We're going to win this by a submission. We didn't do it in the last match, but we're going to do it now. Let's make Triple H tap out. There it is. The sharp shooter. No screw job in Montreal here. Hey, Brett. Hey. But ladies and gentlemen, our first title defense is successful. And regardless of Triple H throwing Edge out of the equation and bumping himself up to the top and doing all the monotonous stuff that we've had to deal with, he has been defeated. I can't remember for the life of me if this is the end of this storyline. I remember Triple H getting reamed for doing what he did, though. Well, I'll just get right to it. I'm sure even a bunch of inbreds like yourself noticed that there was some questionable officiating during the WWE title match at Backlash yesterday. Really? As the general manager of Raw, I'm going to see to it that... Here we go. Oh see, our new Triple H gets reamed. Who must be here to congratulate Triple H? I'm not so sure about that, King. He doesn't look particularly happy. Hey, Vince. How was your vacation? When did... Let's cut the crap, Hunter. You've been given great power as the interim general manager of Raw, but clearly you haven't used it responsibly. Whoa, whoa, Vince. All Instead I... of featuring Raw superstars like Edge and Kane in the WWE title match at Backlash, you chose to satisfy your own ego and put yourself in the match. Listen, Vince, you got it all wrong. No, you listen to me. Number one, you are hereby removed as Raw's interim general manager. And number two, I'm about five seconds away from saying the two words all these people here tonight and those watching at home want to hear. So you've got that long to get the hell out of my ring before you're the one who's going on vacation. And by God, I mean a permanent one. Better get out of there, Hannah. <laughs> yes. I think that definitely removes Triple H and this storyline out of the equation so we can start something different. I love the storylines, this game drum up. I really do. SmackDown vs. Raw, in my opinion, when it comes to WWE games, have always had the best storylines when it comes to the career mode. Always. And I love that they're branching, and it's all dependent on whether you're holding a championship or you're chasing a championship. Got a message from Vince. Hey, Shawn Michaels, I want you to know that I'm going to be taking over day-to-day -day operations here on Raw for a few weeks, and my top priority is to undo some of the damage Triple H did to the WWE picture. I'm lifting Edge's suspension and strongly considering him as a number one contender candidate, but Kurt Angle and Kane are also high on my list as well. I'd like to see you in action against one of them tonight in a non-title match. Let me know who you'd like to face, and I'll set it up. Okay, so obviously we're about to get the chance here to select which superstar we want to face in singles competition. And ladies and gentlemen, that decision is going to have to wait until the next episode. Talk about a cliffhanger. It gives you a reason to come back to find out who gets selected. Thank you for joining me as always, guys. If you have been enjoying this, go ahead and hit that like button. It goes a long way to supporting myself, and I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you happen to be new to the channel, there is plenty of other content to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you happen to enjoy what I'm throwing down, hit that subscribe button and pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation by doing so. Hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so every time something brand new goes down on the channel, you guys get notified straight away. In the description down below, not only will you find links to my social media accounts, 
You will also find the WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 playlist. So if you have missed any episodes along the journey, feel free to go catch up in your own time. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.